Hey guys, and welcome to the live store. I'm Chris, I'm your store manager, and you can catch us every week on Wednesday at 5 p.m. at the local Amsterdam time. It's 5 p.m. right now for us here, so whatever time it is for you right now, come back, join us every week. We're open for about 30 minutes, about half an hour, but it all depends on how everything goes, you know, give and take. Plus, every week we're gonna be looking at a new set of gear. So today we're looking at these three helmets, uh, three premium racing helmets. We have the Arai RX-7D, AGV Pista GPR and the Shui X Spirit 3. And what, what we're going to do is, I'm going to basically just tell you a little bit about these helmets, a, uh, a mini review if you want to call it that. And then it's up to you guys to leave some comments, drop some stuff in the chat, and then, you know, we'll talk about it. If you ask me a question about anything to do with these helmets, anything like that, I will do my best to answer it. But if you're watching this back, because you can watch this back uh, on our Facebook page at Champion Helmets on Facebook, uh, then you can also leave comments. If you're watching this, I don't know, a year from now, then you can also leave your comments because I'll be checking back all the time and I'll be answering questions. Plus, if we don't answer your question today, uh, I'll do my best to answer it uh, as soon as I can. So always check back on the live store if you've uh, left any questions or anything like that. Now, I see this next to us. Uh, you've probably noticed it as well. It's our champion's wheel. And basically, these have, this has numbers on it. We're going to spin the wheel. And whatever number that is, is going to correspond to uh, Champion Cash in Euros. So Champion Cash is our in-store credit. You can spend that uh, in our store, obviously, on something like the Pista if you like. And so what we want to do is we want to have people comment below with the country that they're viewing from. So leave a comment with the country that you're viewing from. Uh, eventually, I'll go through, I'll pick someone out, and then we'll give this a spin, and that person is going to win uh, whatever they land on in Champion Cash. So that's very exciting. Uh, we'll do that a few times as well throughout the live store. So keep that in mind. Uh, and remember to comment below with the uh, country that, you, uh, that you're viewing from. And I'll go through and pick a couple of people out. So that's the, uh, that's the champion's wheel. That's very exciting. Now, uh, how about we jump into the first helmet, the AGV piece of GPR. No, actually, sorry. First, I'm going to tell you guys about our discount code. Because of course we have discount code. We have the best available on the internet at the moment. And you can check that out in the comment section. We'll have someone from the support team is going to leave that uh, discount code in the comment section. And you'll get 10% off the already discounted prices for these three helmets, the Arai RX-7B, AGV Pista GPR, and the Shui x 3. And that is going to be a fairly decent uh, discount, actually. But it's only going to be available for 24 hours from uh, 5 o'clock local Amsterdam time, whatever time it is for you when we started. Uh, that's how long that code will be around for, 24 hours after that. So if you want to get onto it, you got to get onto it pretty quickly. Plus, don't forget, we're going to be live every week, 5 p.m. local Amsterdam time. And every week we'll have a new discount code uh, and we'll have different products as well. So that's, uh, that's how it works. It's going to be pretty dynamic. It should be uh, new and fresh every week. So yeah, now let's jump into the AGV piece at GPR. So just give it a little bit of space here. Now this helmet, uh, premium racing helmet, top of the line. It's going to be made entirely out of carbon fiber, as you can uh, possibly see from this design because it does show it off underneath this glossy finish and that means that it's going to be fairly light it's only going to come in about 1440 grams uh, which is not bad at all for a racing helmets uh, it's typically the lighter the better so it's done well at AGV there and you can see just by looking at it it has a very uh, very sporty kind of sleek aerodynamic design it's going to be very pointed up here at the front and then it's going to come all the way around here to the back with this big spoiler and you're supposed to ride with it in a fairly deep tuck, so something like this. And that spoiler is going to help to keep you quite stable at high speed. I uh, remember this is worn by like people like uh, Rossi, Valentino Rossi in the MotoGP, so it's going to be quite well made. Now, it's also going to be uh, quite weak, the spoiler that is. It, that's going to come off. It's meant to come off in an accident. It's going to uh, uh, help save your neck or anything like that. So be careful with this spoiler, because if you try to pick up the helmet uh, by the spoiler, it can fall off. If you drop the helmet, you can knock it off. Uh, so typically try to avoid doing those two things and you know, always try not to uh, drop your helmet. General rule of thumb. Uh, <clears throat> then we'll come back down here to the chin. You can see the ventilation. Chin vents are going to be actually pretty angular, pretty sharp, and it's going to let a lot of air in onto your chin and your visor. And you can open and close it with a switch on the inside. Maybe you can hear me doing that. Then we come up here to the top, three brow vents, pretty cool positioning, looks pretty nice. Uh, it's also going to be very effective, it's going to bring a lot of air straight onto the top of your head. Uh, and it has these rubber stoppers, so let me just pull one of these out. 
they are a bit tough. There you go. So you just kind of pull it out, and then it's opened up. So this is how it works. If you uh, want to change it, you have to put the stopper back in in order to close it up. So that's the piece of GPU with the ventilation on the brow. At the back, we have vents here, and these vents are going to allow all that air that's come in to escape, um, which is nice. So obviously you want to have somewhere for it to all go. So they're also quite large, and they also do a pretty good job of venting uh, that hot air out the back. Coming around to the front with the visor, you can see here it is quite deep and fairly wide. It goes quite far back into the shell of the helmet. Obviously, you're going to be riding in that deep tuck, something like that. So you can you can see you're going to have a pretty good field of vision with the uh, pista. The visor, crack city position, no detents. Uh, it's a fairly simple visor mechanism. It's fairly easy to change. There's nothing uh, particularly special about it. We're 100% honest. But we do on the visor have these pins here. These are tear off pins, so you can take some tear offs. Uh, they are provided in the box from AGV. Uh, you put them on. It's great for racing. And uh, <clears throat> underneath those pins, there's also uh, on the inside pins for a pinlock anti-fog lens, and that also comes in the box, so you can just chuck that on, and you have all of your anti-fog uh, solutions ready to go. Now, this helmet is going to cost around uh, 1,000 euros, so it's going to be definitely at the higher end of the scale when it comes to pricing. Uh, but you know, it is made entirely out of carbon fiber, and it, that is quite a uh, premium material. We go to the bottom now. And it's going to be an intermediate oval fit. You can see here this hose, this is the hydration system. And you can hook this bit up here to a, uh, to a water bag and you can drink while you're going. There's also a little uh, nozzle on the, uh, on the front here by the chin where your mouth is that you can drink from. So it's pretty cool. Hook that up and you can, uh, you can have a drink while you're riding. Water, of course. Then here we have the double, double D-ring, which is pretty standard on a racing helmet. It's what you need, actually and an emergency quick release for the cheek pads and it's all just going to pull out pretty easily the liner itself is fairly comfortable it's going to be quite uh, it's, it's really what you want from a racing helmet it's going to be uh, pretty cool it's going to bring a lot of water and sweat away from you and uh, dry pretty quickly as well now i think i've covered pretty much everything on the pista sounds about right i think it's about time that we pick out our first winner for the uh the champion's wheel now, if you've just joined us or anything like that, or you've forgotten who I am, I am Chris. I am your store manager for the Alive store, and we're live every Wednesday at 5 p.m. local Amsterdam time, so make sure you don't uh, miss us. But if you do, you can always watch us back, uh, watch this back on Facebook at Champion Arms on Facebook. And there is also that discount code. You can check that out in the comment section, and that is going to be 10% off the already discounted prices of these helmets. And it's for 24 hours only uh, from the moment that we start, which was already 10 minutes ago or so. So 24 hours only from 5 p.m. local Amsterdam time. Let's go through, I'm gonna have a look here. I have uh, the chat open. I'm gonna see someone here. A couple people here, let's see. Scroll up a little bit. Have a look. I see Christopher Langdale from the United States of America. Congratulations, uh, Christopher, it's good to see you. You're gonna be our first contestant for the champion's wheel. So let me just quickly explain this again. Uh, if you're just joining us, uh, these have this has numbers on it, obviously, and this is all going to be in euros. So you can win uh, this amount in euros for champion cash, which is our install credit. You can spend that uh, on, say, a piece if you like. All right, Chris. Uh, good luck. I'm going to get this to spin. But first, uh, if you want to have a chance at being on the champion's wheel, then comment with your country that you're viewing from uh, in the chat, and we'll, yeah, maybe you'll have a chance at. Uh, Winning some champion cash. All right, Chris, let's give this a spin. Good luck. Let's see how we go here. Round and round she goes. Going and going and going. Makes that great sound. And we have here 50 champion cash. 50 euros of champion cash. Uh, not a bad result. Uh, so, Chris, congratulations on that. We're going to have someone from the support team that will get, get in contact with you, someone from Champion Helmets. Uh, we'll get you details, and that way we can get you that champion cash as quickly as possible. Congratulations, Chris. I uh, hope you're enjoying the live store, and make sure that you tune in next week as well. You have another chance. And, guys, if you want to have a go at the Champions Wheel, make sure that you comment with the country that you're viewing from down in the chat section. All right, guys. So let's go now on to the Shui X-Spirit 3. 
So I have it here, looking great in the glossy black colour. And this helmet is going to be obviously quite similar to the Pista. It's going to be a premium uh, racing helmet. And it's going to be made out of a slightly different material. That's Shui's AIM Plus material. And it's going to be multiple layers, uh, mainly of fiberglass and also of organic uh, fiber. And organic fiber may or may not be carbon fiber. Sounds pretty similar, but they call it organic. And this means it's going to have a very strong shell. It's going to be also quite light at 1400 grams, a whole 40 grams lighter than the Pista. So also very light, uh, a very good result. And I'll mention now as well that all these helmets, uh, they have five out of five stars on the Sharp safety rating test. Uh, Sharp is a great, uh, great uh, yeah, safety uh, tester when it comes down to it. They're independent in the UK. They do a great job. Five out of five stars, they all do very well. Now, let's have a look at this helmet. We'll have a look at the Venter, sorry, at the uh, aerodynamics. So you can see it is also fairly angular, not as much as the Pista, but it's going to go into a fairly big spoiler on the back as well, as you can see here. And this will also come off under pressure, so don't uh, go around dropping your helmets. Very sleek aerodynamic design, also meant to be used in a fairly deep tuck as a racing helmet, uh, that's what you would kind of expect. Now looking at the ventilation, you can see we have a few more options on the chin. We have two vents actually. So pretty self-explanatory, you can open uh, these vents up, you can close them. On the brow, we have another vent as well. Uh, it's not super easy to use with gloves on, you can do it. But yeah, no, it's there. This one is also the very easy to use with gloves on. Big scoop, open it up, close it uh, as you like. And all this air has to escape, of course. So we have uh, vents here and also underneath the spoiler here. So we have plenty of ventilation. Uh, again, a very strong aspect of this helmet. To the visor, the visor, quite deep, quite wide, very similar to the Pista. Uh, tear off pins, pinlock lens as well. It's all provided in the box. What's special though is the mechanism. You can see me roll through a few detents here. You might be able to see the springs in the mechanism. They're going to move, and that's going to help to pull the visor tighter against the shell, which is better for uh, noise isolation and just overall getting a better seal from the visor against the shell. Chewy, they are known for their uh, visor mechanisms. They've done a good job on the Xperia 3. Uh, actually, if you guys are watching from uh, America, United States, like uh, Chris was, then you might also know this as the uh, X14. Yep, so Chewy, uh, they call this the X14 in America. But in Europe here, we call it the Xperia 3. Same helmet, though. Uh, we go to the underside now. We see straight away we have emergency quick release cheek pads. The liner is fairly comfortable. It's fairly soft as well. Uh, the liner can be personalized on these three helmets as well to fit your head. And it's going to be antibacterial, it's removable, quick drying, all that kind of stuff. Then, uh, of course, double D-ring. It's also going to be an intermediate oval. And when it comes to pricing, this helmet is going to cost you about 630 euros. Uh, for this kind of design, the uh, glossy black, for something like these two, which are the more advanced designs, that's going to cost a little bit extra. So keep that in mind, about 630 euros for this helmet. And yeah, I think that's about it for the uh, Shui X Spirit 3. And guys, don't forget as well that if you go to our store, you can choose these helmets and get a free uh, visor in the product bundle section. So you just scroll down to that, you get a free visor uh, of your choice, and you can actually get that with a bunch of different helmets as well. So make sure you check that out. That's not related at all to uh, the live store today with Discount Code. We do that uh, quite often. So if you're just joining us, I am Chris. I am your manager. For, I'm your manager for the live store today. And yeah, so you guys can ask me questions. I see that we have a few people in chat and all that kind of stuff. So just comment a question down below. <clears throat> to the live store, do a champion helmets to do with these helmets. Uh, just comment that down below and we'll go through that soon. I'm just going to have to, uh, I'm going to explain the Arai helmet first and then we're going to jump into all these questions. I'm going to uh, do my best to answer them all. But I think it's about time we do another spin of the Champions Wheel. So we had Chris, he won uh, 50 years of Champion Cash. Uh, we're going to go through, we're going to pick someone else. I see uh, straight away, I see Luke Smith from Germany. Hi Luke, thanks for joining us. I hope you're enjoying the live store. I hope you're learning something, uh, and good luck. We're going to put you on the uh, on the champions wheel. And if you guys are just joining us, uh, Luke gets to have a go at the champions wheel because he commented in the chat with the country that he's viewing from, which is uh, which is Germany. So Luke, good luck to you. Let's give it a spin. We need some champion cash. Give it a big spin. Round and round she goes. 
Maybe that was too big of a spin. It's taking a little while. We have a good bit of opportunity here. Come on. 25 years of champion cash. I, I think, uh, I think uh, it didn't stop fully, actually. So let's see how this one goes. 150 years of champion cash. A great result, Luke. Congratulations on that. 150 years of champion cash. So we'll have someone from Champion Helmets from the support team. They'll get in touch with you soon, uh, and we'll get you that champion cash. So make sure that it's someone from uh, Champion Helmets as well. All right, so that is the champion's wheel for the moment. We'll do another one a little bit later on. Make sure that you comment uh, in the comment section with the country that you're viewing from if you want to have a chance at the champion's wheel. And congratulations, <clears throat> congratulations again, Luke. Great results. So I guess uh, it's time that we go on to the Rye Helmets. Here it is. But don't forget, you do get a discount code on these uh, three helmets. 10% off their already discounted prices. It is a great discount code, only available for 24 hours from the start of the live store. So make sure you get around that as quick as possible. You can find that code in the chat. And don't forget as well, you have to, this whole thing is that you guys have to ask questions. So drop a question in the chat. I'll be answering them in a moment. I just got to run through uh, what this helmet is and tell you a few specs on it. And then we're going to be going straight into all these different questions. All right, guys, the Arai RX-7V. If you're from America, you might know it as the Arai Corsair X. Uh, same kind of helmet, same helmet, actually. And it's going to be, you guessed it, a premium racing helmet. So let me just lift it up here. And you can see it is going to look quite different compared to the other uh, helmets that we've shown, the X-Spirit and the Pista. It's because of the different take that Arai has on safety. But I will come back to that in a second. The material is going to be uh, Arai's uh, PVSNC squared, I think it's called, uh, but basically it's a fiberglass material. It's like an advanced fiberglass material, but it does mean that we have the heaviest helmet here at 1600 grams. So a full 200 grams heavier than these two helmets either side of me, and they're both in the same size as well, so it's a uh, fairly fair comparison. Now, uh, so do keep that in mind. It is going to be a bit heavier, uh, but that's also going to come down to their safety. They have this whole idea where they want to kind of glance off of impacts rather than simply absorbing them. It makes sense. Uh, when it comes down to it, though, it hasn't been proven to be more effective, but it's not uh, less effective as well. It has five out of five stars and sharp safety rating, the same as the other helmets, so it does a great job when it comes to safety. And for uh, protection, everything you see here uh, can pop off in under pressure, just like the spoilers of, your, of these other helmets. All this ventilation will come off. Uh, this is the back as well, the side pods. So a whole lot of this stuff will come out, so, so it's not going to get caught on anything uh, if you uh, go down. Now, let's take a look at the shape of the helmet, because this goes with their whole glancing off uh, kind of focus. It looks a lot like a football, or a soccer ball if you're uh, from America. So it's quite rounded, especially for a racing helmet. And it's uh, still going to be quite effective in the tuck, but it is going to have a different aerodynamic design than the rest of these helmets. Now, uh, to the ventilation, you can see here, big scoop on the bottom. Pretty effective, you're going to bring a lot of air straight onto you. Then what is cool though, we have two vents on the uh, on the visor here. So check them out. A uh, little bit hard to use with gloves on, but they're there, they do work. Uh, and it's on the visor actually, so that they don't have to do any uh, put any holes into the shell or the EPS of the helmet. And that's cool, because by putting it on the visor, they don't create any weaknesses and that is obviously better for your safety. Up top, we have a chimney and two uh, scoops here. You can open and close these individually. Fairly easy to do. And it's all gonna come out the back here. We have vents here, here, and also down on the sides here. Plenty of ventilation, exhaust, uh, but you can open and close these as well. You can see the, here the little spoiler as well. Uh, back to the visor, it is Pimlock. Uh, into fog lens prepared. You get that in the box, which is pretty nice. Uh, it is not prepared for tear-off, so that's something completely uh, a little bit different with this helmet compared to the others. And you do as well have this uh, VAS uh, pod system on the side. It's going to do a bit of protection for the visor of the uh, so the visor mechanism. So there's that, and you can open it up fairly easily. It's not a bad seal at all either. Let's go towards the bottom here. See some more uh, exhaust has another exhaust at the bottom, which is going to allow anything that is somehow still left in this helmet to escape out the bottom of the liner here through this. 
no emergency quick release. So you can't see that there because there's not one. Uh, so that is something also a little bit, uh, I won't say disappointing, but it's a bit of a missed opportunity in my opinion. Coming here, we have, of course, as well, double D-rings, if I can get them, there they are. Liner is removable, antibacterial, washable, um, yeah, quick drying, moisture absorbing, all, the, all that good kind of stuff. Now this helmet is going to come in as well at about 750 euros for the base, uh, basic kind of color, basic design. So it's going to sit between these two as well, which is convenient because it's currently in the middle. Uh, <clears throat> it's also going to be an intermediate oval fit. And that is about it for the Arai RX7B or the Corsair X, depending on where you come from and what you know it as. So I think uh, we're going to jump into the questions. We'll do another spin on the Champions World soon. Keep that in mind. So comment with your country down below in the chat section. We'll let a few more people drop their comments in. And yeah, let's, let's jump into those questions. But first, remember as well, you can get free visors with these helmets at championhelmets.com and the product bundle section and also for a bunch of other helmets. So make sure you get around that if you can. So let's go over here to the computer. And I see, let's have a look. I have a question here. From Brian. All right, Brian, good question. Which helmet has the best ventilation? That is it's the Pista. It has great ventilation. Very, very strong ventilation. Uh, you can see quite aggressive, but it also, like, I'm not sure if you guys, you probably can't see it, but straight under this ventilator, you can see that EPS and the hole going straight into the into your head. So it is very, very strong. Uh, but the ventilation is pretty good. Uh, it's actually great on all three of these helmets. They're racing helmets. That's really what they're designed to do. They're meant to, uh, to ventilate, keep you uh, cool while you're in that high intensity race. Yeah, let's have a look here. Let's see uh, a bunch of you people that have uh, commented. That's great to see you guys. I see Jared wants to have a spin. Maybe we'll do that soon, Jared. Don't worry. And Dung is also desperate for a spin. Uh, all right, let's have another look. Keep them going. I see from Ronnie, are all three in stock? Yeah, you can all, we have all three of these in stock. Thanks for the question, Ronnie. Uh, let's keep them going. I see from Vila, uh, what is the best helmet for a beginner? I would probably say that these aren't really great helmets for a beginner uh, because these are your premium uh, racing helmets. Probably something uh, a bit more entry level is best for beginners so you can choose from a bunch of different ones. The HJC i7 is uh, one that I recommend as being quite good for a beginner. Thanks for the question though. Let's go on. Actually, let's do a spin of the champion's wheel. It's been a, we've had a bit of time in between, so let's do a spin here. So we'll go scroll down a little bit more. Have a look, uh, so I can see all you guys commenting. It's great to see. I see, and I hope I say your name right. I'm sorry if I don't. Uh, Ludovico Maria Bissetti from Italy. I hope I said that right. Uh, Ludovico. So we're gonna give you a chance on the champion's wheel, gonna win some champion cash. This is all in euros, so you'll win uh, that champion cash in euros, and that's our in-store credit. You can spend that on, say, uh, an Arai RX7B if you want to. All right, so let's give that a spin, uh, and good luck to you. Let's do it here. We had a couple, we've had a very good result already, so hopefully we can get another one. Maybe we can try and beat it. Good luck, Ludovica. As we go round and round and round and round. And we are... 150 euros of champion cash. Congratulations, that is a great result. Uh, you almost at the 500, so close. Uh, so yeah, we'll have someone from Champion Helmets get in, in contact with you. We'll get your details uh, privately, of course, and we'll make sure you get that uh, champion cash straight away. But remember as well, only uh, give you details out for someone from Champion Helmets. All right, congratulations, Ludovico. That is a great result, uh, great work. And remember guys, we're gonna be doing this again next week, so you can uh, come in Maybe we'll do something a little bit different. Maybe you have to comment your country as well. So that's a great result. Congratulations. Let's go have another look at these questions. <laughs> Grazie from Ludovico. Nice. Uh, I see from Yasmin. Uh, when is the next live store? The next live store is next week. Uh, Wednesday, 5 p.m. local Amsterdam time. Uh, whatever time it is for you right now, minus, I don't know, 20 minutes or something like that, we're going to be live. That's every week. So make sure you tune in as uh, as often as you can. But if you've missed it or you want to watch it back, anything like that, you can check us out on Facebook. You can go to uh, the live store there and you can watch it back. Uh, you can leave comments as well, remember, because I'll be answering them uh, as we go over time as well. 
let's go on here, have another look. From, uh, I hope I said this right, uh, Hamuid. Hamuid, uh, yeah. What is your favorite helmet, uh, if you had to choose one? I mean, if I had to choose a premium racing helmet, it would, I'd be pretty happy with any of them, really. But I personally do like the Shui XP03. I think it has, it has the best noise isolation, uh, of the three helmets, though that doesn't say much, it's a racing helmet. I think the ventilation is nice, I, I think it's comfortable, uh, personally I do like the design. So I will take the XP03, I do like Shui uh, helmets myself. So I'm a little bit biased maybe. But thanks for the question, uh, that's just my personal opinion. Alright, let's have another look here. I think we'll take uh, two more questions from the live store for this week. But don't forget, I will be answering anything that I've missed because I see there's a lot of comments here. I'll be answering any questions that I've missed later on. See another question here. Uh, is it prepared? Are they prepared for a comm system? Uh, yes. Well, the Shui is, the Arai is, and the AGV is not. So you can fit, uh, you have speaker cutouts for these two helmets, so you can fit a whole bunch of different comm systems onto those. Uh, but you will have to mount it somewhere here, which is not great for your aerodynamics. The Pisa does not have any cutouts uh, for speakers, which does make uh, mounting them a little bit more challenging. It's still possible for sure, but it's it might be just a little bit less comfortable. But yes, you can actually mount a, uh, a comp system onto all three of these helmets. Great question. Let's go the last question, guys. So let's pick out a very good one. I see... Uh, from Yasmin, how do I know if the helmet fits right? That is a very important question, Yasmin. Uh, so basically, it should be quite snug on your face. If you put it on and it moves, it doesn't fit right. You want to have, obviously, the small size that fits on you as well while still being comfortable. Comfort is a big thing. Uh, and with a lot of different helmets, like the uh, like Shui helmets, you can get different uh, cheek pads. And these helmets are adjustable with their liners. Uh, so you can adjust that as well, but don't forget we have a YouTube video on this on how to uh, fit and uh, measure your head for a helmet and how to size it. So you can check that out if you want to have a bit more of a detailed explanation. Thanks for the question, that's a great one. Uh, you know what, I'm feeling generous, let's do another question. This is the last question guys, the very last one. All right, uh, you know, that's actually a great question from, uh, from uh, Dung. Dang, thanks for the question. Uh, what's going to be the topic next week? Actually, it's going to be modular helmets. We're going to be looking at the three top modular helmets. You guys might be able to guess uh, which ones they're going to be. Um, but yeah, we're going to be doing that next week. So make sure you tune in as well because we'll have a discount code on those. All right, guys. Uh, yeah, the live store. That's about it. I've had a great time. It's about time to wrap up, sadly. Thanks for joining us, though. Remember, next week you can check us out. We'll be doing the top three modular helmets. And as well, if we have that discount code, you can check that out. I see uh, it is LIVESTORE1, all caps. So make sure you use that 24 hours from uh, 5 p.m. local Amsterdam time today, which is when we went live. And also, we'll have a new one next week, so make sure you get around that as well. Don't forget as well, free visors uh, in the product bundles with all three of these helmets. And you can watch this back on Facebook. Check the helmets on Facebook. All right, guys, uh, it's been a lot of fun. I've had a great time. Remember, I'm Chris, I'm your store manager, and I'll see you guys all next week. It's been great. I'll see you then.